is a boy very near to Ayanaba, where it is now the uh, gate. British base. The Linya, the Linya uh, borders down there. After it is my village, Ayos Memnon. That's the name. Ayos? Memnon. Memnon. Ayos Memnon. It's uh, just after the uh, Roganas. It's, it was a tourist area of Famagusta. Ah, okay. There I bought. Then I went to the army when I was 18. When it was? Which year? 66. So you remember 55, the problems in Nicosia? Yeah. And 64 and 63? Everything. Okay. So uh, I went to the army, I met my wife, I get married. They are when it is Cypriot now. wine or Turkish Cypriot? Cypriot. 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 A Greek Cypriot. No, Cypriot, it's all of us. Turkish and Greeks, we are Cypriot. We're all Cypriot, but speaking different languages. Yep. So, I met my wife, I get married, and we stay till the Turkish invasion in Trigovo. Was when it, it was is now... The first wave. Yep. When it is the, the buildings now, the Turkish or Israelians, whatever they're beating over there oh, okay. by the coast. So I was in the army. My wife came in Tarnaga with my son. I had a son, five years old at that time. So I met them after when I finished from the army, when they let us free. You was. Uh, I was uh, soldier to the army. You yes. was soldier. You was uh, a prisoner of war, or what? Or you was fighting? No, no, no. Ah, no. We just fighting. Okay. I was in Carpathia first, then after we came in Darnaka area, Nicosia area actually. So we came here, almost naked. We did our Explain to me, Makarios, he was speaking in the United Nations during the 74. Yep. And he said, look, Greece is trying, okay, Greece created the Oka Vita. They're creating a problem in Cyprus. They want a Gnosis. We want to stay independent. It was not my words, it was the words of Makarios. So what is the role of the Oka Vita? Listen. Eoga Vida, it was a part team from Hunda in Greece, from generals. Yeah, that's what uh, Makarios said. Yes. So that start 1979-70. So if you want to know the history of the island, you have to take the things from very many years back. We talk about 1948, 49, after the war. Because British, they promise, they give us our independence. Then they change mind, they refuse, whatever. It was a different, I can say, and they ask people if they want union with Greece or stay under the uh, British that time control. It was a referendum or something? Yeah. Okay. In 40s? So, 49. Oh, 49. Okay. So... How old was you then? One year. <laughs> <laughs> but your but uh, your yes, parents, I remember from my parents. Your parents told you, yeah. Papers, history here. So 95% Turkish and Greeks, they ask for union with Greek. With the kingdom of Greece? Yeah. It was kingdom. It was kingdom, yes. So, no junta. after that, British, they say to us, all right, send people to study politics in, 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 in England, and after 14, 15 years, we give you our defense. But never did. So, 95, 
they decide to make a revolution Wait, by chance. Not 95. 1955. 1955, correct. They, tra- they decide to make a revolution against two British to get our independence. Eoka Ena. Yes. Those people, they really fight for... Full support for, of the people, etc., etc. Not full, but... The villagers, the people, round and round. They keep them in our houses, they feed them, they take care of them. It was um, mostly Greek uh, Cypriots or Turkish Cypriots? No, only Greeks. Ah, only Greeks. They were, the Turkish actually they support that, okay. but not openly. I see. Because, I will tell you another thing, many people, they, they know that, but they don't want to talk about it. Most of the Cypriot Turks, they were Greek families, Greek Cypriot families. You know, when the Turkish, they came to Cyprus long, long time ago, they decided to tax for the taxes, for this, for the other. So the locals, they didn't have a good life. So for that, people who they had, the farmers mostly, and rich people, they decided to change religion from Christian religion to pass to the Muslim religion, just to save properties, families, and whatever. Because one of the laws the churches they had after when they came here, it wasn't really law. They just wanted to use that as a law. They asking from the girls when they get married, the first night after the marriage to spend the night with the leader of the village or the area they used to be, just to be sure that they were virgin. And if they found them no virgin, they killed them. So one of those reasons was that to change the religions. For that we had many, many Uh, I can say secret Christians here, and they still many. If you go to Carpathia, in one village called Galinoborni, there they still have the church, they still uh, go to the church as Cypriot, not as Cypriot, sorry, as Christians. So for that, They support Eoka in secret. They didn't support it openly. Before you continue, let me clarify. So, Ottomans were ruling here in Cyprus. Mm-hmm. They were in power of villages. Yep. And uh, they were imposing a very harsh. We, we talk about Turkish one century ago. Yeah, a long, long time ago. Yep. So they were oppressing people. Mm-hmm. So the people, instead of being oppressed very brutally, as you mentioned, they prefer to change the religion yep. into Muslim. Okay, I understand. So let's go back to Eoka. Yeah, no. So Eoka one, there were some young people who they believe to the idea of union with Greek. Uh, they fight. Many of them, they lost their lives. And 59, 1959, they give us, uh, as they said, our dependent. Now, what kind of independent? And we became a dependent country in 1960. Before we go, in 1955, mm-hmm. there were some riots in Nicosia. Yes. And uh, I was reading the history books and uh, the another organization, TMT, was created. It was a Turkish uh, Turkish. Mm-hmm. And th- this right TMT, yeah. TMT was a Turkish, like, not like Eoka. 
we was in secret because the yoga fighters underground it was underground TMT it was official official and militia. supporting militia no no supporting from the Turkish uh, authorities over there okay so they fight TMT TMT they fight no they fight by guns but you know talking and pressing whatever for what they didn't want a union to be a union with us I understand they want to make two parts the island as they have it now so the riots of 55 were were created by the Turkish authorities I understand from the mainland through TMT the fires in Nicosia in a way yes in a way yes. because I have read the, the book that uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs was in London yeah and he telephoned to and and say look make mm-hmm. a fire blah 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 yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. this is true all right for that I've told you they have been supporting from the Turkey main Turkey mm-hmm. so they try to make some trouble some fightings uh, just to cause problem between Turkish and Greeks 1963 okay We became that to 63 was December I think yeah Christmas time they killed some people in Nicosia who uh, it was a fight between them night time you know people they killed uh, Turkish one Turkish uh, I think he was And from there they started the troubles. We had the fight in 1963. Turkish are bombing, I mean the Turkish Air Forces. From May 30, they're bombing in up in some villages uh, till Iria. Why? And because of that, because of the troubles in 1963, But it was not the Oka, eh? because the Oka Oka was finished. The Oka finished. They yeah. have independence. So it was independent. It was a fight between Turkish and Greeks because they wanted to be uh, alone and whatever. So after that, they had some uh, troubles. I can say, talkings, whatever. And they left the Turkish from the government, oh, from okay. the parliament and whatever. Because the agreement it was uh, 70% Greeks, 30% Turkish in everywhere, according to percentage of the population. So 73, uh, sorry, 63 we have the bombing in Kiliria. They killed many people. Uh, bombing airplane. They came and they bombed. What is the area name? Kiliria. Kiliria. Yes. And they must or up mar- to the mountains. Up to the mountains. Ni- near Tikhon Monastery. Ah, near Tikhon Monastery. Yeah. They were bombing. Papos area. When it police, Pyrgos, uh, Argaga, uh, Gokina. They were bombing uh, indiscriminately, or they were targeting some troops. Or no, what? no, no, no. Just the uh, bombing the area down there. So just with bomb, bomb, yeah. uh, Nabal bombs. Nabal. Yes. Many people they have been killed there. Greeks. Yeah. Because uh, there they were near some Turkish village, Kokina and Pomos. So. After that, it is not in the news. These stories, <laughs> they are, but you have to find the right book. Okay, continue, please. Yeah. So, after that, they make our uh, army, as we have it now, officially. We had elections again. Magarius came up, and then sixty-seven. It was. The crew in Greece. The generals they came coup. up. The crew. The crew is. Yes. The crew. Then general generals they came up and they start. 
you know, how we used to move it. So we create here yoga B, yoga 2. So there were people who they believed them that we can have a union with Greece and some other things. They were against the Mugarius, the politics they used to have. Slowly, slowly we became 1974. Fighting between us, bombing between us. So from 67 to 74, there yep. were troubles here and there. Yep. So 74, it was the crew against the Magarius. And Magarius, he escaped. Me, I believe that they let him go. Because you have enough education, I believe, to understand that I go to take this thing here. I will give round around. I would not leave the behind area. Yeah, it's very free. suspicious escape. And from there, they took a car. They went all the way from Nicosia to Kiko Monastery. And from there to Paphos. Nobody saw them. The roads, they were all, all of them full of soldiers. Soldiers of Eugabi. Because it wasn't only the Eugabi, it was also the, the army who support. Yogabi, Greek, uh, they were Greek uh, soldiers and uh, officers, whatever. So he left, he went to, uh, to England first and after to United States. So I remember I was sitting home with my wife and we hear the news and I hear what he said in the United States, in the United Nations. So I remember I said to my wife, be ready because soon we will have war with the church. Because if we want it or not, it's true that in a way he invited them to come here. I don't know if you hear his speech from the United Nations, what he said exactly. Well, uh, it is now published on YouTube, a part mm -hmm. of his speech. He said that uh, uh, so Junta is responsible for mm -hmm. the events and the OKB was planted to in keep. Cyprus. Uh, I, but I don't have his full speech, but the part yeah, of the So he said that, as you said, the Junta, it, inviting Cyprus, they cause problems, they destroy the government who was till that time. And he asked, he said, I demand from the other two countries, guaranteed countries, who they were, England, Turkey, and Greece, the three guaranteed countries for our democracy here when they gave us, they depended the British. So I demand from those, from the other two countries, who they are guaranteeing for our democracy, to involve, he didn't say to invite, he said to involve, and bring the situation back as it was before the coup. Let me interrupt you here. Uh, Kissinger, Henry Kissinger, American... Uh, he made it everything. <laughs> he made the book in 1959. Yeah. He said, we need Cyprus as the place to put nuclear weapons and everything like that. So my understanding is that Greek junta was an instrument in the hands of the United States and mm -hmm. probably Britain uh, to keep uh, here the radars and monitor the and the, put nuclear weapons because yeah. in, in the criteria the, it is it is now in the records of the parliament in the criteria still America still NATO when bases they are belong to British British what it was what it is it's NATO so what was the reason 
behind junta going after Cyprus? Why junta needed Cyprus, from your opinion? They, they asked him to be a union. They didn't want Macarius because uh, Macarius, he was a very ambitious person, first of all. He didn't accept to involve other people, how they, he was uh, doing here. So, Auto, and also, au, au, autocrat. Yeah. And also, Kissinger, he used to call him Magarios, Castro of Mediterranean, because they, they had a lot of arguments between them. All right? And when Kissinger once, uh, he visited Cyprus, and they were talking together, Magarios, he tried to talk with him. And Kissinger, he said to him, but you find in the book anyway, he said to him, President, now you don't talk and joke with Henry Kissinger, but with the Foreign Aid Minister of the United States. So, so tell me, you say that a good part of Turkish Cypriots are actually ex-Orthodox people yeah, yes, 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 yes. converted to the Muslim. Why then Eokabi uh, killed a lot of people in Tahne village? This. I will explain you that also, yes. You see, first of all, you want a coffee? Cypriot coffee. Why not?